Dead soil is a nightmare for any gardener, it's pale, compacted and lifeless, refusing to grow much beyond weeds. Many throw fertilizer at the problem but chemical feeding only forces green growth while the ground beneath stays weak and sterile. What if there was a way to bring that soil back to life in just 15 days? No compost pile and no fertilizer required. There is, and it works by copying the most powerful soil factory in nature. The forest floor. Dead soil can be reactivated faster than most people think. When gardeners talk about soil health, they're really talking about microbial life. Dead soil has few or no microbes, little organic matter, and no structure to hold water or nutrients. The fix is not to dump chemical nitrogen but to restart the microbial engine. With the right conditions, bacteria, fungi, and earthworms can multiply explosively in under three weeks, transforming hard dirt into dark, crumbly living soil. The secret is surface feeding with raw organic matter combined with moisture and microbial inoculation. Instead of waiting months for a compost heap, you let the soil itself do the work in place. Mulching is the foundation of a living soil system. The fastest way to kickstart soil life is to cover it. A bare surface bakes, erodes, and starves microbes. A covered surface creates shade, cools the soil, and traps moisture. The first step is spreading a thick mulch of mixed materials directly on top of the dead soil. Use a ratio that balances slow and fast decomposition. Two parts woody or dry carbon material like wood chips, shredded sticks or dried leaves, and one part soft nitrogen material like green weeds, grass clippings, or kitchen scraps. Spread this layer at least 8 to 10 centimeters thick across the bed. If your soil is heavy clay, lean more toward dry leaves and chips. If it's sandy and poor, lean more on green material to build organic matter quickly. Mulch alone will revive soil eventually, but in 15 days, you need to wake up the microbes. A simple fermentation starter can be made with what you already have. Chop 1 kilogram of fresh green material, grass clippings, weeds, or vegetable trimmings, place it in a bucket with 10 liters of water, and add two handfuls of healthy garden soil as an inoculant. Stir daily for 5 to 7 days until it smells earthy, not rotten. To use, dilute 1 liter of this ferment into 5 liters of clean water and pour it evenly over the mulch layer. This instantly inoculates the soil and mulch with billions of microbes, accelerating decomposition and feeding cycles. Microbes can't thrive in dry conditions, so moisture management is critical. After applying your mulch and inoculant, water deeply to soak the entire layer and the top 10 centimeters of soil beneath. In hot or dry climates, this watering must be repeated every two to three days to keep conditions active. Think of the mulch as a sponge that should stay damp but not soggy. If it dries out completely, microbial activity halts. If it is waterlogged, anaerobic rot sets in. The goal is a steady, moist environment that feels like a wrung-out sponge when you dig your fingers in. Within seven days, you will notice the mulch beginning to warm slightly as microbial activity ramps up. Threads of white fungal mycelium may appear between layers of leaves and wood chips. This is an excellent sign because fungi are key builders of soil structure. The topsoil beneath will start to darken as organic acids from the mulch soak in. Earthworms, if present in the area, will begin to rise and feed on the softening material, pulling it below the surface. Even compacted ground begins loosening as this biological activity takes hold. By day 15, the soil is alive again. After two weeks of consistent moisture and inoculation, the mulch layer will already be decomposing at the edges. When you pull it back, the topsoil beneath will be noticeably softer, darker, and richer in smell. You may see worm castings dotting the surface, a sure sign that soil animals have returned. Plants sown directly into pockets of this system will sprout with vigor because they tap into a microbe-rich zone that releases nutrients steadily. No chemical fertilizer can replicate this balanced feeding cycle. In a 1 by 2 meter garden bed spread about 15 liters of dried leaves mixed with 7 liters of grass clippings, then water with 5 liters of the microbial starter solution. For a young fruit tree, circle the base with a 50 centimeter radius ring of mulch 10 centimeters thick 
and drench with two liters of diluted starter. Even containers can benefit. A five-gallon pot can be revived by layering two handfuls of shredded leaves and a handful of green scraps on top, then watering with one liter of the microbial solution. In each case, the principle is the same. Cover, activate, and keep moist. The method outperforms fertilizer because it builds lasting fertility. Chemical fertilizers feed plants directly but ignore the soil ecosystem. Once washed away, they leave nothing behind. The 15-day living soil method, however, builds humus, increases water holding capacity, restores microbial balance, and invites earthworms back into the system. The results compound over time. Each season, you simply refresh the mulch with another thin layer and the soil grows richer instead of weaker. Fertility becomes self-sustaining, just like in a forest where no one adds fertilizer but the ground stays perpetually fertile. Reviving soil doesn't need expensive inputs or endless composting. In just 15 days with nothing more than organic mulch, a simple microbial starter and consistent moisture, you can turn dead dirt into living soil again. It's fast, affordable, and works for vegetable beds, fruit trees, and even containers. This is how soil becomes an ally instead of a burden, alive, fertile, and resilient. If you found this guide valuable and want more proven methods for reviving tough soils, subscribe to Hydro Haven and share this video with fellow gardeners. Let's spread these techniques and bring more gardens back to life.